Animations. Animations are everything in a video game, just like in real life. Today I'm not covering a bunch of animations when it comes to body mods, let's call it that. I'm actually covering animation mods for something that I don't think many people have talked about or covered before. Today we are adding animations to weapons. That's right, I think Bloodborne was this game that completely opened my eyes when it comes to having weapons with animation. I think this is the most badass thing you can have in a game and why not have that in Skyrim? I'm gonna showcase a bunch of mods where you can use to add either animated weapons to your game, weapons that have their own animations, like the weapons are literally moving, or turn our favorite artifacts into a much more better looking ones. Feel free to like the video, subscribe, comment down anything below just to boost the video it helps me find my audience and as always thank you for watching this video first of all we are starting with a mod that i've covered before my most favorite bow to this day and that is the silver bow blade this is a dagger that turns into a bow when you draw it out it plays a cool animation it has a very metallic sound which is very satisfying to listen to i don't know how this works for stealth but i mean who am i to judge those things right such a cool design and unique taste to how a bow should look like. This mod came out almost what five years ago. Crazy how time flies, right? To this day, it is my most favorite bow on the Nexus, and there hasn't been any bow that will do better than that. Again, this is silver bow blade. Next, we have the animated glow sword. This sword and the next mod they come from the same mod author, and they remind me a lot of Soul Calibur. Back in the day when I was young and beautiful, I remember playing the shit out of Soul caliber and there was the soul edges aka those cool weapons having eyes that were moving around this mod brings back those memories maybe those weapons might not be the best quality maybe they look kinda too weird for Skyrim but guess what it's a choice and sometimes what's more better than hitting someone with a moving sword that has an eye and next coming up is the wreathing animated sword if you thought the previous one looked kinda weird well this one looks kinda you know funny it has the same design this sword is pulsating it's moving just like my long hair. What else, you weirdo? Again, this sword is absolutely amazing. Love the previous mod of this mod author and I cannot wait for more mods to come out. Next, we have the animated Dwemer Core Sword. That sounds like a cool name for the next type of graphic card that will come out. But back to the point, this is a two-handed dwarven sword. I mean, guys, just look at this. You're not looking. This looks so damn badass. I love the dwarven stuff, okay? But this one is just so nice look how it's moving how it is going up and down it is a such a nice looking sword again it's something that for all of the dwarven enjoyers out there who want something you know more new to add to their arsenal there you go this is a fantastic mod to have next we have the hugs breath do you remember what i've told you ab about the bowl previously well this dagger has to be my most favorite dagger mod of all time dagger weapon type of mod that's how you say it i think it is this such this beautiful looking dagger that you can craft like most of the weapons and again it has a moving eye this looks fully HD and it is so damn good it screams badassery and it's something that you know it can work for an alchemist type of character for a mage or even an assassin I love weapons that have themes like that it reminds me of Morrowind where every single weapon sort of had a very hard theme it's a dagger guys just like Mel's in Skyrim we don't get much love when it comes to daggers maybe the oldest mod I'm using in this list but that being said my most favorite dagger nonetheless. Next we have the Guardian Seal. I remember playing God of War and I thought the Guardian Seal was pretty cool. Now we've got this on Skyrim now this is an old mod, everybody knows about this but I thought I would cover this and I know what you're thinking alright? We've discussed about this before. I think a shield counts as a weapon. I could easily use a shield to punch someone's head out so for me that counts as a weapon because the best defense is offense and that's why Guardian 
Guardian Shield is on this episode. Next we have the animated weapons, the Edric Scythe, which adds a Edric Scythe into the game that plays this nice animation when you sit it in and sit it out. That's what she said. This is a nice weapon to have. It looks unlike my social life. Very good and very powerful. And if you like the Edric stuff, there you go. Now next, I am going to cheat a little, guys. And we have the Kanji's page on the Nexus. And why I am referring to this, I am going to include a bunch of weapons from his mod list, throwing the links in this episode, like the Wabajak animated or the Harkon Katana. So essentially around 5 or 6 of his mods, they're running animations to our favorite artifacts of Skyrim. So you can use those while having animation specific themes going on. And I think it adds up a lot when it comes to those weapons. Nothing is cooler than having the Wabajag. Honestly, I never used this stuff, but now I might. Having this stuff, and when you put it on first person or third person, you see it moving and laughing at you. Or having the Molag ball hammer, and you can see it talking to you. I love this so much. I wish every weapon had that. Not every weapon, just a special enough weapon, if you know what I mean. And next we have the Salt Max uh, PNC key. Whatever it is, I'm sorry, I'm, I cannot even try. I'm, it's a skill issue, right? I cannot pronounce those things. We have all of his previous mods like the weapon animation for children, for Mirak Sword, Skull of Corruption, all of his different type of mods. I mean, you have the Nightingale bow that now plays an animation every time you take it out from your back and you put it back in. You have the Staff of Magnus, the Volendrang, the Dawnbreaker. I love this. Why this man made those mods like three years ago and we haven't seen any more. We need more of that. I love those mods. I love weapon animations and so do you. And next, I have another author, but sadly he's not on the Nexus, and I cannot reveal his mod, because I don't own it. For those who are interested, it's called Monitor, that's his actual name, and he has the animated Dwarven Arsenal. And this is from a different YouTube channel, I'm gonna put the link in the description. Essentially, he grabs all of the Dwarven stuff and puts animations into them, like the shield or the hammer, they will have little gogs playing around on going left and right, and this adds animations to all of those. I don't like or support the idea of having to pay for mods. I understand when someone wants to make something out of it, so this is the reason why I don't own this mod. But if you want to walk the extra mile and get something with more animations and add more life into that, here is the mod for that. This grabs the shield, most of the weapons when it comes to dwarven stuff, and as you can see, I mean look at this, this looks so cool, right? I mean, it adds animations to them, and I'm sorry for not being able to showcase those but guys i am broke af all right i don't eat every day just to get how bad it is so when it comes to me buying this mod just to showcase it i'm sorry but i am here only to spread the word that being said there was one or two more mods that i think i've missed out there was some type of whip or lashes type of mod but for the love of me i cannot find them on the nexus let me know down in the comment section if you remember them but that being said that was kind of most of the mods that i will recommend you to run to any of your mod list. If it's minimalistic, if it's, you know, a big mod list, if you are modding Anniversary Edition or Special Edition or any version Todd Howard is going to sell to us. That being said, I was a short video of all of the animated weapons or adding animations to weapons when it comes to Skyrim, including some new ones and improving some older ones. Thank you for watching. My name is Kav and I will see you on the next one. Until then, set of trouble and happy modding.